All right, y'all. So I'm going to make sure I get into a discussion on each of these practice events. So what we did as a group, we were working out, and I wanted to make sure each athlete had some individual instructions. So I wanted to videotape this so we could look at it and get a good feel for what's happening. So in our first race or in our first exercise, um, we have an 800-meter runner. And she typically runs to 3,000 meters, so I'm trying to include some sprint work in what she does and uh, hopefully speed her up so she's going to begin running faster and she can be an 800 meter by the time the season starts next year. So going through that process is going to change a lot of her habits. Now, the biggest issue that she has, and you can see right now watching this, she has a good pace for a 3,000 meter runner, but it is not a great pace for an 800 meter runner. So how do we compare it? And I'm going to pause it shortly after this first lap, but we want to see the time on this first lap before I pause it. So real quick, arm swings. Her biggest issue right now is her arm swing. She also runs a little bit heavy footed but those things come with strength training. She hasn't done strength training, so we are just starting to get into the strength training this summer. But that's the first lap, and we're at 130, right around 130, 131. It's not bad, but I want to pause that here, and I'm going to switch over, and hopefully we don't get a real jumpy kind of image. And we're going to look at the Brooks Invitational from yesterday because these are the people that she could potentially end up competing against if she gets very good. The Invitational for Brooks is uh, an event where they bring in high school state champions. And what you'll notice immediately is how much quicker these athletes are taking off. So we're going to watch their speed. And right after that 100, they're going to start collapsing and coming over, fighting and jockeying for that lead. And there's a lot of pushing and elbowing that goes on in the 800. It's a very physical race. But if we look at the time difference right now, these girls are already at 30 seconds in that second 100 meters. So they're entering the third 100 meters, the 300 meter section right now around this curve. And you're looking at 40 seconds. So immediately we know, I'm going to pick that up because I don't want to start buffering. This is the last 100. And the speed that these girls are running, my athlete or our athlete at Anchor Point, she's way off of this time. This is the end of their first lap, and they are at one minute. So we're talking a minute and four seconds. Here we're at a minute and 38 seconds. Now, like I said, she's not a 800-meter runner yet. We're working on her speed. And you're going to see a lot of the technical stuff that we're going to have to work on in regard to um, how she's going to have to improve as an 800 meter runner. So let's finish up her race. And it's just a slow pace. I have it turned down so you can't hear a whole lot. But this is one of the most important aspects that you need to understand. Even an 800 meter runner is a sprinter. It's a sprint race. While it is a middle distance race, it's still a sprint race. So the athlete is going to have to pick it up and turn over her feet a lot more. But you can't do that if your arm swing is really uh, is not moving fast enough. And right now her arm swing is just too slow. She's coming in front of her body a bit too much, which means she's moving her shoulders way too much. So we have a few things that we have to work on in regard to getting her speed down. Now, for her, this is not a bad pace. Remember, she's a 3,000-meter runner. She's a 3,000-meter runner. So she's coming around into this final home stretch, and she's about to hit those last 100 meters. The acid's starting to build up, and you it, it's... It's just a difficult run at the end. But you see she's got solid speed coming down That's the stretch for those last 100 meters. But her arms 
they're swinging way too much, causing her body to turn with each kind of step. So she finishes as is not a bad pace, right around three ten or so. Um, while we watch these girls in this race, and here's what's interesting, and what I want you guys to look at: look at the arm swing, look at the arm swing. Every one of those high school girls athletes has an great arm swing now you can see this athlete if my mouse is showing up she's bringing her arms across her body but this girl here at the forefront she is she's got a great arm swing it's not coming across to the middle of her chest it's coming up towards the middle of her shoulder same thing with the athlete who just took over first place here she's just got a great arm swing you see where that elbow is going to the sky and this arm is coming up. Now it is reaching over to the middle of her body around that curve, which is a little awkward. But she is really moving those arms. The faster your arms move, the more your arms swing, the more your feet move. So you just have to sit down and work on your arm swing and the technical aspects of the race. She's got to open that stride up. So our runner has to open her stride up. So I'm going to wrap that up with this part right now get that out of the way even though it's still playing i'm going to stop that just so you guys can see what it looks like for an athlete to work on their form i'm going to wrap that up right there